So this video is for anyone who signed up for GoDaddy Managed WordPress Hosting. We're going to show you how to set up your A record through Cloudflare in this video. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find out what the A record is, and it's an IP address. So we need to get that from GoDaddy. So we're going to go to GoDaddy's website and log into the dashboard of our managed WordPress account. So what I'll do is I'm going to leave this open and I'm going to open a new tab in my browser. And the way to do that is if you're on a Mac, uh, hold the command key and hit T. If you're on a PC, hold control and hit T. So we've opened a new tab. Now we're going to go to GoDaddy.com. There are ways to get there more directly, but I like to just use Google because it's easy. Click GoDaddy. Now in the upper right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a little silhouette of a person with a number. That's my GoDaddy customer ID number. If you don't see the little silhouette of a person, that's going to be a login button. So just go ahead and log in with the GoDaddy information that we created. And then we're going to go over here to manage your hosting. Now we're back in the GoDaddy dashboard for blogchampions.com. And see on the left-hand side, you will see the DNS not resolving error. And this is where we need to go to get the A record. We'll click Learn More. Your account setup can't finish without your help. To manually update your DNS, which is what we're going to do on Cloudflare, uh, we log into where you manage your domain, which is, it says usually where you registered it, which would be Google Domains. We're setting our domain up with Cloudflare so in this case, it's actually not where we register. It says, update your A record to and then this number. Now you can write it down and type it in in Cloudflare. Uh, I just recommend copying and pasting it. So I'm just going to select and it. This number may be different for you as well. Absolutely. And that's why we're walking you through this part of the setup and not just telling you type in 166.62 because it may be different. So I've highlighted it with my mouse and I'm going to copy it by hitting Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC. Okay, so that's all I need from here. Now I'm going to head back to Cloudflare, which I left open in this tab. So now we've come back to the Cloudflare screen that says verify that all of your DNS records are listed below. And we hadn't set up any before, which is correct. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and enter the new ones now. The first thing we're going to set up is an A record, and that's going to tell um, the internet browser where to look for blogchampions.com. So here's how to set it up. You see A record here on the left, make sure A is selected. Click into the name box and add an at sign. So shift two. What the at sign is, is a shortcut for blogchampions.com. This is the only time we're ever gonna need to know that, so don't worry about committing it to memory. Then click in the IPv4 address box. I'm gonna paste in that number and then I'm gonna hit add record. You can type it in manual if you want to. This automatic TTL, time to live, just leave it the way it is. Now what we're gonna do is set up a CNAME record. Now, a lot of people will think that www.blogchampions.com is exactly the same as blogchampions.com. And that's actually the way we want it to be. But it doesn't happen that way by default. Most people don't realize that those two things have to be set up separately. But it's easy to do. So we're going to click over here in A, and we're going to come down to C name and select that. Now in C name, we're going to type in www. This is telling it to point to www.blogchampions.com. And now we're going to use that same shortcut that we used before to say point it to an at sign, which is going to say point it to blogchampions.com. And then we're going to add this record. So at this point, what you should see is a CNAME record for www and an A record for blogchampions.com. And next we're going to say continue. Now bear in mind that this is not the only time you're ever going to have to enter these IP addresses. Uh, we're probably going to be revisiting this area when we go back to add email records or, or other things, but we'll walk you through that too. Next, select a Cloudflare plan. $200 a month, no thanks. Let's head up to the free website plan, which is excellent, and it's all you need. Uh, actually, mypayitforward.com is currently hosted on a free Cloudflare plan, even though I get one and a half million people a month. Uh, Cloudflare is an amazing company, and they didn't pay me to say that. There are, there are no kickbacks for me recommending them. They're just amazing.
uh, let's say, so we selected $0 a month, continue. Change your name servers. This is where we have to go back to Google Domains and change the name servers in Google Domains, which is what we're going to do right now. So let's open a new tab. I'm going to use Command-T on a Mac or Control-T on a PC. And I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to type in Google Domains. And then open Google Domains. You can also just type in domains.google. Uh, Google is so powerful that they got their own TLD, which is .google. It's like a .com. In the upper right-hand corner of the screen, click the green Manage My Domains button. And then it brings you to this domain screen. And it's scary because you say, hey, I registered this, but it's not there. That's because of the way Google Domains is set up. Uh, we just need to go to sign in in the upper right-hand corner. We're going to use our Gmail account, which is blog winning, and the same one that we used to sign up originally. Click Next. Sign in with our password. And now what we see what we should, which is blog champion. So what we need to do next is update our name servers, which is what Cloudflare told us to do. And if you remember, Cloudflare is a DNS provider, so it makes sense. We're going to click on DNS. First thing you'll see is name servers. This is the only thing we need to pay attention to on this page. We're going to click the button next to use custom name servers and then all the pre-filled ones are going to go away. The first one we're going to enter, we're going to head back to the Cloudflare page. Now there are two. What Cloudflare's page says is that you have four current name servers and get rid of them, which we did in Google Domains when we just said use custom name servers, they automatically go away. So on Cloudflare's site, the only thing we need to do is create two name servers, one is amanda.ns.cloudflare.com. The other one is isaac.ns.cloudflare.com. I'm going to copy and paste. Command-C on a Mac, Control-C on a PC. I'm going to do Amanda first. Enter amanda.ns.cloudflare.com. Google Domains doesn't make this abundantly obvious, but you need to click the plus sign on the right-hand side to give yourself the option to enter a second name server. So now I'm going to head back to Cloudflare and grab Isaac. So we're going to do isaac.ns.cloudflare.com. I'm going to copy that. And if you want to just type these in yourself, feel free to do so. Head back to Google Domains, name server. I'm going to paste this in. Now it looks like it pasted a few extra spaces before Isaac. I'm going to just click save anyway, because Google Domains is smart enough to handle that. <laughs> so now our name servers are set up on Google Domains for blogchampions.com. Next, we're going to head back to Cloudflare. We've taken their advice and we're going to click continue. Welcome to Cloudflare. So this is as far as you need to go with this video. We've set up blogchampions.com successfully uh, with GoDaddy.